Hello friends, thanks for joining us for today's Kalalayan Living. I'm Brittany Kay. And I'm Ashley Thompson. And today we're going to be making a recipe. I'm actually going to be teaching you how to make this recipe. I'm excited about this. I'm I am really too. excited about this. I am too, just because I've never tried making homemade donuts. So I experimented a little bit this weekend and I'm excited to share this recipe because you aren't going to feel as guilty about eating these donuts as you would probably the ones that you get at the bakery. But so we were talking and yeah. we cook a lot on the show and the newsroom and everyone in the office loves when we bring all the leftovers downstairs. Right. And it just, I don't even know exactly why, but for some reason our break room always has snacks, treats, not even just from what we do on the show, but there just always seems to be something in the break room. Yes, what does that say? So this is actually a picture of our break room from earlier you this morning. You went and took that picture this morning? I did, <laughs> earlier this morning when I got here. and. You can't really see, but there's bagel boy bags, so that has some bagels in. Someone must have made some cookies, and then on the other side, there's also leftover things as well. But I came across an article online, and according to a 2018 report by the Society for Human Resources Management, the number of companies in the U.S. that provide free snacks and drinks to employees rose from 20% to 32% between 2013 and 2018. Did it tell you why? Well, it talks about how when we get hangry and our Hangry, hangry, hangry is real. Thing. It is <laughs> really real. But our blood sugar levels, when those you know are going up and down, and when we are hangry, it can affect our work. And so having those snacks can be beneficial for companies, but at the same time, then a lot of people rely on them. And so then when those aren't an option in the break room, maybe no one brought something in that day or they got old, um, then you're kind of relying on it, and then you don't really know what to do. Remember the time that we made popcorn and you showed me how to make popcorn and I set it in the break room and totally forgot that I did that <laughs> yeah. and then like a week later walked by and the bowl was still sitting there? I mean, these are the struggles with workplace food. It gets really hard, but yeah. I think that I don't really, I try not to eat stuff out of the break room because I just don't know. I just, really? Yeah. I, I, I do if, I, if it sounds appetizing. I just, I just don't know how, I'm gonna, how it's going to go down. Right. Maybe. I just don't know. But There's some things though that sit out when maybe they should be in a fridge. Because I leave it out and I totally forget about it. See, I can't trust myself. Right, but popcorn, that can sit out. Yeah, that can sit out. And I'm really excited for your donuts. They're gonna be really good and it's National Donut Day. Yes. Right, National Donut Day today. So, so that's how we're gonna we're celebrate. We're gonna celebrate and uh, I'm glad you're teaching me something this time. And I am going to warn you, this does have a healthy spin on it. I it's like actually it. a like Weight it. Watchers recipe. So it does have a healthy spin on it. So I'm just gonna warn you, it might not have that sweet of a taste, but it definitely is still good. Well then we can eat more stuff from the break room later because our donuts are exactly. healthy. It's exactly, exactly. It's gonna be good. So also on today's show, we have you interviewed the Hegg brothers recently. So we're gonna yes. be hearing about that. And also we have a few singers in. So that got me thinking about singing and I love Christmas music you love Christmas music we sing it a lot around here but I read an article about playing Christmas music too early actually Linda Blair is a psychologist and she did a study on this and said that playing Christmas music too early actually creates a lot of anxiety no. for people because they hear it and start thinking I don't have presents I haven't started decorating I'm not ready for Christmas I don't have everything done is it time already for Christmas but a I lot get of people that, have the I opposite don't agree I'm, I'm with you opposite Bring on the Christmas music. I actually was listening to Christmas music this weekend. It puts me in the holiday yeah. spirit. I All like I want it. for Christmas is you, Mariah Carey. My we friend and I definitely jammed out to that. We like to sing Christmas music around here a lot, so you're probably going to hear some of that. 